Hey survivors. Today we're going to install an Icarus server using Windows GSM. And this server is the Icarus requires a plugin and the plugin installs just like all the other plugins. If you need help getting to this um, phase, just go to Windows GSM, uh, survivalgamingclub.com and go to the Windows GSM and there's a video there on how to install the uh, any plugin. They're all, they install very easy. They're all the same. Icarus is a little different though. Once you get the plugin installed, then you will have to edit the code. And the easiest way to do that is to go to Browse Server Files and then just use the up arrow until you see a plugins folder and click on plugins and then go up to Icarus and then when you go into the Icarus plugin you're going to right click edit with note plus plus and what you're going to want to do is scroll down to line 99 you're going to copy the code from the web page you're going to copy and paste the code. If you look at the original Icarus file, you're going to see it's a little different. Basically, all this is going to do is, if you don't do this, your game will say no Steam when you go to connect on a server. But if you fix this piece, bit of code here, then it'll display the server name correctly. So just copy and paste that code. Hopefully the developer can fix it. I've already given them the fix just waiting for him to do it. And then once you update that code, just save it. In this case, it's already updated, so we can just close it out. And then, what I like to do just to be sure, is I go back to the plugins, I select it from the list again, and I import the plugin, or you can reload the plugin. Um, just to make sure that the new code gets in. Once you have it updated, edit config and set your server name, dash steam server name. In this case, we use Survival Gaming Club. Set your ports. And that's it. Then you can start your server. You'll be good to go. Now, if you want to edit the config files for Icarus and all this is on the web page you're going to go to browse again server files this is one of the best things about this is it it gets you to where your actual server files are then you're going to go to Icarus saved config Windows Server and in this case the file you're looking for is called server settings and again edit that with note plus plus I like to use note plus plus because it's very distinct uh, you have line items you have colors that tells you like this is a command and this is the output whereas if you just edit it with notepad Let's just edit. See, it's it's messy, basically. You can still do it, obviously, but it's just messier. And if you're doing a bigger file, uh, like the the Icarus CS file we did earlier, you're, it's it's really messy. So I always use Note Plus Plus. And once you make your your changes, then you're ready to go. But the Icarus is actually the hardest one to do because you have to edit the CS file. But again, hopefully the developer will get that fixed. I fixed it, um, showed them how, um, or I sent them a note on how to do it, but to my knowledge, it still isn't complete. And that's it. Then you'll start your server and you'll be off playing. All right, survivors, conquer the world.